Hello friends, let's see the transverse abdominis muscle. This transverse abdominis muscle, it is the third muscle from superficial to deep in the anterior abdominal wall. As we have already discussed the skin, superficial fascia and the external oblique muscle as well as the internal oblique muscle in the anterior abdominal wall. So after removing of all these structures, we can find the transverse abdominis muscle. When we see the origin of this transverse abdominis muscle, it is going to arise from the lateral one third of the upper surface of the inguinal ligament from the inner lip of the ventral segment of the iliac crest as the external oblique it is going to arise from the outer lip and the internal oblique it is going to arise from the intermediate lip. This transverse abdominis muscle it is deep to both these muscles and that's why going to arise from the inner lip of the ventral segment of the iliac crest. This muscle it is also going to arise from the thoracolumbar fascia as like that of the internal oblique just lateral to the quadratus lumborum muscle. And lastly this muscle it is also going to arise from the lower six ribs along with its coastal cartilages and these fibers they are nearly horizontal and that's why the name of this muscle it is the transverse abdominis. The fibers of this transverse abdominis muscle which are going to arise from the lower six ribs along with its coastal cartilage they are going to intermingle with the fibers of the diaphragm muscle. So after getting origin from this four area this transverse abdominis muscle they are going to form the transverse muscular partition within the anterior abdominal wall deep to the internal oblique muscle and then going to form one aponeurosis and this aponeurotic fibers they are very narrow near the xiphoid process and become progressively wider as the fibers passes below and they are going to insert over the linea alba. As these aponeurotic fibers they reach up to the lateral border of the rectus abdominis muscle in the upper two third part these fibers they are going to form the posterior wall of the rectus sith up to the arcuate line and below this arcuate line or we can say lower one fourth part these fibers they are going to form the anterior wall of the rectus sith and the lower fibers of this transverse abdominis muscle they are going to form the roof as well as the posterior wall of the inguinal canal and going to continue with the same aponeurotic fibers of the internal oblique to form one tendon and that is the conjoint tendon and this conjoint tendon it is going to insert over the pubic crest and the medial part of the pectin pubis. So this conjoint tendon it is going to be formed by the internal oblique muscle as well as the transverse abdominis muscle aponeurosis. When we see the proportion of this conjoint tendon, the two third part of the conjoint tendon it is going to be formed by aponeurosis of the transverse abdominis muscle while the one third part of this conjoint tendon it is going to be formed by the aponeurosis of the internal oblique. When we trace this conjoint tendon medially, the conjoint tendon it is going to continue with the anterior wall of the rectus sith below the arcuate line. And on the lateral side, this conjoint tendon having a free margin and this curved free margin it sometimes become fibrous and it is called as interfoveolar ligament which is going to extend from the lateral margin of this conjoint tendon to the superior part of the pectin pubis and this interfoveolar ligament it remains on the medial side of the deep inguinal ring which is actually present within the fascia transversalis. When we see the nerve supply of this transverse abdominis muscle, it is going to be supplied by the lower six thoracic spinal nerves and the first lumbar spinal nerve from its ventral rami 
So we can say it is going to be supplied by T7 to L1 spinal nerves ventral rami. The action of this transverse abdominis muscle we are going to see with the all other anterior abdominal wall muscles. So this is all about the transverse abdominis muscle.